with my mug, personalized mug. It says, uh, this was written for me by my colleagues. And uh, some of you will get this reference. Some of you will not. And if you don't, that's okay. You obviously weren't watching the episode during which it happened outside there, if you can believe it. Good morning. My name is James Hendry. It's lovely to have you with us. I'm sitting warm and comfortable in the tent with my coffee. Mm. <laughs> mm. And I'm sitting in the tent because we want to have four feeds out today and, of course, because of the inclemency of the weather coming out of the sky today. Good. We have all feeds up, except, uh, well, Ronald the Rover still struggling. I'm probably going to have him driven over by a tractor fairly soon. He's starting to frustrate me deeply. We will be in here for the next three hours. We are as live as Taylor and as Byron. So please talk to us, hashtag Safari Live, and I will answer any questions that you happen to have. And what I'm going to do today from the tent, just to kind of ease myself into the TV thing tomorrow, is to try and discover any of the species of, pl of flowers and grasses just outside the tent that I don't know yet. And there are a few of them. So we're going to bring them in. We'll identify them with the book and I shall show them to you. That is my general idea. As we got here this morning, however, we heard lions roaring. And I'm very pleased that Taylor's found them. But there are at least three calling from different locations. And that's why I think that lion that Taylor's got is looking all over the place. Lovely to identify the Birmingham boy. I think it's always important that an animal has a defining marker, which clearly Tinio does. The others are a bit more difficult to identify, but Tinio, very obvious, of course. Super. <laughs> 